between Woking and Southend. So after coming back from a goal down to beat Dorking on Good Friday and with Chesterfield's shock loss to York City, Woking are back in third place. The games go on if you have to do it for every tackle like that. So Southend then with an opportunity to play the ball into the box. It's headed up and away by Kellerman. Woking managed to clear with Cuthbert. Not fully clear though. Shot comes in from Norhusen. It's over the bar just though. Good effort, good power. Yaskalai, they looked like he might have got a hand to it, but didn't have to in the end. Goal kick for Woking. Yeah, great, great shot, really, this early in the game. And uh, just a foot or so lower, and it would have been... I would have needed a very good save. It was a great shot from about 25 yards. Really sliced it, and it went about a foot off the ground, and uh, but Woking couldn't capitalise. Oh, Cardwell chests the ball down, plays it out to Bridge. Bridge on the edge of the Woking penalty box. Twisting, turning, goes back to Miley. Miley plays it into the box, and the header comes in at the back stick, but it's completely misdirected from Gus Scott Morris well over the bar, but that was a good opening. I think that's yeah. sensible. We need to be so careful with concussion. There's so much discussion around concussion subs and, uh, and the impact it can have, so good to see that they're looking after the players. So Lofthouse is on. Ball's whipped into the box. There is Kellerman, free kick against Woking for a push on the goalkeeper. And Southend have a free kick in their own box, but dangerous moment there from Woking and Dakas causing yeah. all sorts of trouble. I'd love to see that again because it it was just two or three players going for that. I didn't from where we are, and we are probably 60 yards away. No real sign of a push, but uh, Gary Hill's time, I think. Long from Yasklanen, good flick on header from Kellerman. It's at the feet of Brown, who does well to go out to O'Connell who lobs it down the line to Amond Amond in field plays it out to Lofthouse Lofthouse at the far end he's got loads of space though hits it across goal doesn't beat the first man out for a corner for Woking Woking's first corner of the game after 35 minutes yeah yeah very good play there starting with a lovely chip ball from Charlie O'Connell down to Padraig Amand and he played it in and then it Went to went to Lofthouse. Yeah, great, great work in both those. And then the final ball was very much uh, lower league football. <laughs> Balls it forward. It's fallen for Amond in the box. He heads it back across for Dakers, who chips it over the goalkeeper and gives Woking the lead here. Just after the break, Marcus Dakers against the side he was playing for at the start of the season. Cool finish from him. Woking one, South End nil. Well. That was really out of the blue. It's just a long ball that South End defence really didn't handle very well at all. It is a swirly atmosphere, but it really was, and it just came almost in slow motion to uh, Podrick Armand, and he, he headed it across. Dacus was coming in and coolly just stabbed it home. It goes back to Taylor. Taylor slides it down the wing for Hussein. Hussein whips it across goal. Doesn't meet anyone, but Bridge collects it at the other end. He then hits it across goal. Header comes in off a Woking player. Woking clear. What can Dakers do with this long ball now? Dakers. You know, South, South End really, you know, coming forward with intent now, without particularly at the moment threatening. But uh... Hussein picks it up just over the halfway line for South End. Driving forward, slides it forward for Bridge in the box. Jack Bridge shoots low and into the bottom corner to equalise for South End. His tenth goal of the campaign for them. Jack Bridge equalises Woking one, South End one. Yeah, lovely goal, lovely goal, well taken. He came, uh, took his time. The Woking back four looked a little bit, you know, they were isolated really, and the ball was coming forward and picked his moment. Lovely ball to Bridge, who took it. One or two touches and then slide ruled it home. Pass Jaska line. And game after a bit of a laboured first half. Bridge on the ball and the Shrimpers fans are up now. Bridge driving forward, no one's coming to meet him. Slides it through to Hussein. Hussein slots it across goal. It goes across the that corridor of uncertainty and out for a Woking goal kick, Woking a bit rattled. They are, and uh, quite lovely ball, low ball in, and Cardwell stuck his leg out, and just couldn't get any any contact with it. Uh... So O'Connell now with the with the corner. <laughs> Let's see what he can deliver. He hooks it in. McNerney with the header, oh. just wide. 
got good connection on it but couldn't direct it goalwards goal kick for the shrimpers Hobson with the long diagonal ball looking for Scott Morris headed infield by Casey not the best ball though and it's with Carball in the box can he shoot he leaves it for Scott Morris who volleys it spinning away out for a corner hit a Woking player on the way out but couldn't volley on that and Woking get away with that one with a got to defend a corner now yeah dangerous for a moment there dangerous oh. for a moment Woking throw him into the feet of Jim Kellerman from the corner of the box out by the, the touchline he does well gets it across goal it goes across everyone and Wabuke will get his first touch of the game on this near side into Dakers on the corner of the penalty box goes in to the feet of Lofthouse shields it well still got it Lofthouse goes back to Rohan Ince Ince back to O'Connell O'Connell plays the ball into the box oh. headed clear falls for Wabuke Wabuke on the volley good, good contact straight yeah. the goalkeeper though Good strike from Wabake, considering he's only just gone, gone in. He caught it well, but straight at the keeper. O'Connell has got one hand in the air. Plenty of players on the edge of the box. It's played towards the box. Oh. McNerney nearly gets oh. there. And then at the back stick, I think Ince yeah. with the shot over the bar. Yeah, he caught it well, Ince. Bit greedy to look for three go three goals in two games. Can Woking find a winner here, though? O'Connell with the free kick. Hits it into the box. It's a flick on from... McNerney, the goalkeeper does well to get that off the line. He had pressure on him. Back with O'Connell. Corner for the cards. It's an in-swinger towards the back stick. Headed back in field by a South End player, collected by the goalkeeper. Now we've got a bit of a break on. And bowled out, and here comes Nick's back possession for the Shrimpers. Ball's out on that left-hand channel in front of the Chris Lane Terrace. Collected, though, by Ince, forward into... Amond out to Dakers on the, the right. Dakers driving forward, edge of the penalty box. Sets it back to Ince. Ince with the oh. cannon shot just over the bar. Great Woking move from back to front. Ince couldn't find the finish. Great break there by Woking. And uh, Dakers again, how often have you said this, did really, really well. Brought it in. It's over, but nothing, nothing really untoward there. Kellerman wins the throw at the ball from the throw in though and he goes back to Casey Casey scoops it forward cleared by Hobson again it's with Kellerman Kellerman plays it up to Dakers Dakers with the flick on looking for Kellerman to latch on to shouts of handball from the Woking players in the penalty box referee is not at all interested in that they're Woking play on in Darren Sarr's got his hands on his head. He was certain that was a penalty I, I didn't see it myself here I don't know about no you no way it went to the with Lofthouse coming forward, it's still one all. He plays the ball forward for Podrick and Mom. We've got about 20 seconds remaining here. And in fact, actually, Cameron, there is the full time whistle. Full time here, and it has ended. Woking one, South end one. A hard fought draw, probably a fair result. Marcus Dakers giving Woking the lead, a good, neat finish. South end reacting almost immediately. Jack Bridge scoring with a low, hard finish. Woking. Had some chances near the end. Rohan Ince firing over. But they just couldn't quite get the win. Full time here is Woking 1, South M1.